my guest says, sky's the limit when you're not walking in a love deficit. He teaches how to fill up on the love of Father God. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. <laughs> I so love the rarefied air of heaven, and I believe that as you're watching me, that rarefied air is going to be transported to you, and I'm so excited to talk to Leif Hetland. Uh, Leif, as I told you at dinner last night, that you provoke me to jealousy, and after all, the Bible says the Gentile is to provoke the Jew to jealousy, <laughs> And how does he provoke me to jealousy? He has tapped in to what is known as the immersion or the baptism of love. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, the Bible says God is love. And have you noticed? There has been an emphasis since I've been a believer on Jesus, and rightfully so, and on the Holy Spirit and rightfully so. But we're coming into a season, and, and God's proving it to us prophetically, we're coming into a season in which Father God wants you to experience His love. And what do I mean by it's a prophetic time? Because do you remember the Brownsville Revival in Pensacola, Florida? Guess when it started? Father's Day. And you remember Toronto, the great outpouring in Canada, the airport church? What do they emphasize? The love of the Father. Let the oil flow. Now, you came from a home that displayed love, but yet you still had an orphan spirit. What is an orphan spirit? Well, an orphan spirit is primary person who lived a life without having a security, they don't have a love, value, and purpose. Uh, an individual, like in my own life, where I had a good father, and it is possible actually to have a perfect father like we find in the Bible and end up with a prodigal son and a prodigal brother. And, and I had a, a experience of being both a prodigal son because of an abuse that took place when I was 12 years old. Uh, I ended up as a prodigal son with an orphan spirit. I didn't have a place of security with God or with anybody else. And I didn't know how to receive love or to give love away. And I didn't have a proper value system that only a father can give. And as a result, I didn't find my purpose in life for many, many years. Now, there are many fatherless people in the world. In the United States, what, what did you tell me? Well, 40% of all the children in America, they will live in a home where they do not have a father around. And just even to know in prison, the majority of the people in prison, one example that I thought was interesting, Sid, was that uh, during Mother's Day, they hallmark the make of these beautiful cards. Uh, they send out cards to all the prisoners mm -hmm. to, to write to Mama. And 5,000 cards, all of them were gone. But Father's Day came along, and they thought we need to do the same things for Father's Day. And over 4,800 cards was not sent mm -hmm. out. That's very telling. Now, interesting enough, Leif comes from four generations of Pentecostals. However, he became a Baptist pastor, and because he had this orphan spirit, uh, he thought he could please God by good works. And you burned yourself out, but you ended up at a meeting of uh, the Toronto group that was in England, and tell me about that. Well. Uh I would say 1994, I was pastoring uh, First Baptist Church in Sunnes, Norway. 
And my elder, he came back, and, and somehow I saw something had taken place in his life. And he said, hey, you need to go over to England. There is a group of people, and I know it's kind of a strange, but they can pray for you. And uh, I can be honest, I first thought I don't need this, but I saw the fire in his eyes. So I went with him over to England and I showed up and it was safe because I went to a Baptist church. And on that Tuesday, there was a group of people that had just come from Toronto. And uh, when they started to share their testimony, they were similar like me. I mean, they were burned up people, tired people, weary people, that all of them had a fresh touch of the Father's love. And uh, so I stood in line that Tuesday as a Baptist pastor. More of you. The next moment I was laying on the floor and I was thinking what would my Baptist members think if they see me rolling on this floor? You would lose your church. I would lose my church, yeah. So, and, and the interesting thing, when I came back again to my Baptist church after this meeting, I was just preaching so like normal. But now, in the next moment, people in my Baptist church, they and started the to fall down worse. on the floor or resting in the spirit. And we didn't even have a language for it. Uh, it looked like it was an accident that was taking place. <laughs> How about you? Do you feel like you're at home? Uh, do you have an orphaned spirit? Are you burned out on religion? Leif had an encounter with the baptism, the immersion of love that transformed his life, transformed his marriage, transformed his family, and allows him to minister to Muslims because of this great love that is poured out from God the Father. I want you to experience that. Don't go away, we'll be right back.